man. You went to me for five packs already. Four. Five. There must be a con like me in every prison in America. I'm the guy who can get it for you. Cigarettes, a bag of reefer, if that's your thing, a bottle of brandy to celebrate your kid's high school graduation, damn near anything within reason. Yes, sir, I'm a regular Sears and Roebuck. So, when they... You know, the ancient Egyptians had a beautiful belief about death. When their souls got to the entrance to heaven, the gods asked them two questions. Their answers determined whether they were admitted or not. Okay. Why this danger? Oh, man. I thought your name was Danger. Come on, now. Oh, oh, I see. Now I get to fight a retard and an old man. <laughs> Call ESPN, because you can't write this. <laughs> oh! His name is Morgan Freeman. Born as Morgan Porterfield Freeman Jr., Freeman was born in Memphis, Tennessee on June 1, 1937. He was raised by his grandmother in Mississippi, and then later on moved to Chicago, Illinois, where his acting career took off as only a young high school student. At that point, Freeman won a statewide drama competition and started performing at a radio show back in Tennessee. He even won a partial drama scholarship for the Jackson State University, but he turned it down to join the Air Force instead as a mechanic. After the Air Force, Freeman came back to live in both New York and Los Angeles, where he worked as a transcript clerk and a dancer. Freeman later on went to work for an acting company called the Royal Hunt of the Sun and made his first off-Broadway debut in 1967 in a movie called The Nigger Lovers, a movie about the civil rights era. He then went on to act in Who Says I Can't Ride a Rainbow and then Another World, an older soap opera. After that, Freeman was recognized for his distinctive voice and began playing more fatherly, wise character roles, leading him to bigger roles as he gained fame. He moved on to playing major roles in movies such as The Shawshank Redemption, where he received his third Oscar nomination, and also Unforgiven, and even playing a role as God in Evan Almighty and the follow-up, Bruce Almighty. Freeman started appearing in some of the newer movies we all remember, such as War of the Worlds, a major blockbuster of the year, The Dark Knight, and of course The Bucket List. He also now does the voiceover for the CBS Evening News. From CBS News World Headquarters in New York, this is the CBS Evening News with Katie Carrick. And also narrates Through the Wormhole, a science documentary television series on the Discovery Channel. But aside from his acting career, Morgan Freeman has an interesting personal life. He now owns three private jets and has been married twice. Freeman has two sons and owns a ton of property, both in New York City and Mississippi, where he also owns a restaurant and a blues club. Morgan Freeman is well known for his activism and ideas on race, where he has publicly criticized Black History Month, saying that the only way to end racism is to stop talking about it, and says that since there is no White History Month, why should there be a black one? He also supported the proposal of changing the Mississippi state flag, which included the Confederate battle flag. Freeman has many philanthropic endeavors. He formed the Granada Relief Fund for the people affected by Hurricane Ivan. And he also gave his patronage to the Artist for a New South Africa, an organization battling the AIDS pandemic. He is also a supporter for the African-based campaign for female education. But that's not all. Morgan Freeman is also the board of directors for Earth Biofuels, a company that is dedicated to promoting clean biofuels in America. Morgan Freeman has done a lot in his life and is, in my opinion, by far one of the greatest actors the world has ever seen and will never forget. Whether you're talking about his godly narrative voice or his tremendous acting skills. That is why I chose Morgan Freeman for my documentary. Hey, you can't quit. And you can't quit would do it in uh, spring of 1967. I was ready to start driving a cab, go work in somebody's office. Anything. This obviously is not going to happen. Yes, I got talent, so do half a million other people right here on this block. I would have quit many times. 
There was always somebody else who just, you can do it. Come on, you can do it.